Mike, check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You already know the Gemini Scorpio podcast. Yo, we in the building. Uh huh. Episode what? Zero one six. We e- almost had that twenty. Episode sixteen. We having a party on twenty. Uh huh. It's gonna be a party in here. Mm. You better be here. Where you going? Shout out to that. Luke Belair. This is our first time drinking the um the champagne without orange juice. Mm. How you like it? What's this? Which one is this? I like this a lot. Rose. Yeah. Okay. You like the rose? Yeah, I like that rose. Mm-hmm. Without orange juice. But I warned you. Mm-hmm. Okay, shout out to Luke Belair. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> episode one, zero one six. Uh, can let me let me do this quick. Um, we can do it. Fuck it, let's do it. <clears throat> All right. So look, I don't know if y'all been checking it out, but I've been checking it out. Um, first of all, shout out to us. Shout out to the Gemini Scorpio podcast. Period. So I was online. <laughs> I was online and I was talking. I was watching. Uh, you good? Yeah, shout sorry. out to Catch Twenty Two. Who good? Catch Twenty Two. You know, if you want to die. Sorry, Damn, I'm that's promote. Wait a minute. Actually, this is the way maybe Jay might have put my kosher pop the top. Not with your hand though. Just get the thing because you burn your fucking hand. Hookah one on one. Here's Don't. open it up for a second. Ooh, child, because I couldn't breathe there. It's like nah, <clears throat> catch twenty two always with the vibes. You know I'm not sitting here with no shahuka. Yo, why you put the, the, the you took the thing off? What? The tip. Hey, what the fuck happened to it? Oh, it's all good. I dropped it. Sorry. But yeah, anyway, um, yo, so I was watching, I was on the internet and Gilly the Kid, uh, matter of fact, shout out to Alex. I'm sorry. Alex, yes, sir, you know. Yeah, right here. Here. Alex, the team is here. Uh, yeah, the team is here. While I'm behind usually? the camera, Monique, Monique is the on building. the screen. Shout out to Monique. Uh, we were talking she about- got my hair all the way right, y'all. I almost just cried just now. Fucking tresses was acting up. Monique to the rescue. So we're doing a quick, quick segue real quick. Hey, so I was on, I was on Instagram and I seen that Gilly the Kid was- Basically, while because I ain't gonna lie, I seen the um, I Wait, seen that. Who is Gilly the Kid? Gilly the Kid, million, million dollars of a game. Uh, Gilly the Kid is a, I don't want to say old rapper, but he's like he used to be a rapper. He used to be a ghostwriter. Um, some of y'all probably know him from the the Lil Wayne and Gilly the Kid beef when people said that he wrote Lil Wayne raps back in the day. Uh, him and Wallow, Wallow is his cousin, I believe. They got out of he just got out of jail not too long ago. It might have been like two years now. I'm not. I think it was two years. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not really years. sure. Um, they got a million dollars per game, which is one of my favorite podcasts. I ain't gonna say what podcast it took over. That was my number one, but it is one of my favorite podcasts, and I'm not just saying that because of what I'm about to do. I've really been saying yeah. that. <clears throat> so I was watching a million dollars per game, and I noticed that the dude Dev is the guy that usually does their their audio or whatever, but they put him on camera and give him mic because sometimes when you fucking with a nigga, it's just like Ali, like you know what I'm saying, like you want you want their input, like let's rap. You get know what I'm saying? So um apparently one of their, their cameraman was like, yo, fuck it, let's just put a camera in front of him. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, well, we ain't doing that with um, Alice, because... Wait, so that's the one that be with them? <laughs> Wait, they be, they be, that's the one that be talking with them? Yeah. Oh, the one that's normally on all three of them? Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, that sucks. So, I didn't realize that it was him. Right, so they got a, another. They got a deal, and we was, we've was we been talking money. We ain't getting no money yet, you know what I'm saying? But we've been talking money, just situations, hypotheticals or whatever the case may be, and... They going through that, and I'm it's glad. It's, it's luckily they're going through it because they're in a position <laughs> where they're good, and we yeah. can learn from it, kinda. Yeah. So um, they got a deal with Barstool Sports. We don't know about the money. Somebody said three million, but apparently that's not true. But that don't even matter. Fuck all that. Let's get straight to the point. So Dev wasn't on. That. I'm like, yo, what the fuck, Dev? Not on that. What's going on? I'm thinking. I ain't gonna lie. My first thing was like, my first thought was like, damn, these niggas got that deal and said, fuck Dev, whole time. This nigga try to sue them niggas and get fifteen percent of the company, and I'm like, you fucking idiot, Gilly, Gilly, like, yo. He was going to pay the nigga $520. Mm-hmm. The nigga like that wasn't enough. He wanted 15 520 What you mean? $520 an hour. You're right. An hour. $520, $520 an hour. $520 an hour. $50,000. And, and you really be Nothing. you the sound engineer. Sound engineer. Five hundred. That's How much is that? That he $50,000 for 96 hours. So $50,000 a year. So Gilly on live, right? And I'm glad I watched the whole thing. Because he was, he was rapping. And he was like, yo, look. I'm going to give his position to somebody else. So look. He said, make a video. Send it. So he wanted, he, he was like, yo, make a video of why you better than Dev Nasty. That ain't really my style, so I'll probably get eliminated right now. But I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? If you, why I should be on there? Because I got my Tell own. Tell them, babe. I got my own podcast. And then Tell we them. Lit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't, I'm not going to say I don't need anything from y'all because definitely I wouldn't be making this video if I didn't need anything. I definitely can use the money. But throw baby in the game. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, but I got my own shit. You know what I'm saying? If you look at my page, I run my own shit how I run it you know what I'm saying I think I could be an asset one because I'm relatable one I got a girl we've been together for two years y'all both got wives you know what I'm saying well girlfriends 
Gilly got a wife. Whatever, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so they got they got companions, significant others I can relate. But at the same time, I can give a different perspective because you guys are older than me. I'm younger, so I, I will give the younger perspective that median, on. That yeah, that you know what I'm mean. saying? Uh, I can definitely run the audio because, that's again. That's what you do. Yeah, I run all my shit. Well, thank God I got a team now. But that's another reason why I think I could be a part of it because I'm not trying to. You not, ain't new to this. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying this. to steal y'all shine. I don't, I don't even care about the shine. I'm trying to get my own shit up. And I, I really think that, I really know that that $50,000 can help us because we're doing this pro bono. We at episode 16. And I'm trying to get my family some money too. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying. Yeah, let's it ain't see even it. about me. It's about the team because niggas is doing this for me off the yeah. whim. And I appreciate them. You know what I'm saying? So if y'all really are serious about this opening, what's good? Put Here me in the game, you know what I'm saying? The baby I, in the game. I definitely appreciate it. It ain't nothing. Yeah, and I could just use it. Who the fuck couldn't use fifty thousand dollars for ninety six hours? Woo. That's like how many days? Like four days. Four bro? days. Five hundred hours. Days, Nigga, bro. what the fuck? So look, I'm gonna send this video to you, and and I'm doing this in the middle of my fucking podcast, my nigga. So um, I'm gonna post this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send it to y'all. I'm gonna, I don't even get people. I don't post it on my page and be like, yo. Tell tag, everybody tag. I don't do tag that. Tag him. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to put this on my Instagram. I'm going to tell everybody tag Wallow and Gilly. I know a couple people that like have like common followers. So I'm going to send this to them. Be like, yo, can you DM Gilly mm-hmm. and Wallow? So if y'all serious, I definitely could use the opportunity. I would appreciate it. And I mean. Let's get to it. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Sponsored by Bel Air. Sponsored by you know Bel Air. Catch 22. You already know. Now let's get to the Gemini Scorpio podcast. Gemini Scorpio podcast. Yeah, they got enough. They got enough <laughs> free promo right. and shit. How was your week, babe? Uh, my week was pretty decent, I think. Mm-hmm. You know, I be forgetting. Because a yeah. lot of shit, like, it's sad because a lot of shit I just don't be giving a fuck about. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. This week, uh, <clears> for me, I was sick. Majority of the week, I had to go to the hospital for a fucking tooth. Fucking tooth was infected. No, my mouth is hella clean. But because I was supposed to go back to the dentist and I rescheduled it and I guess my tooth was like, nope, you should have went the day you went. So I had a bad toothache and I had to go to the hospital, been on meds all week. So meh, my week was meh. <laughs> you know, I hate medicine. I don't fuck with none of these pills and all this shit, but I definitely needed them damn painkillers. And um, we here. Yeah, we here. I think I'm I better think I, now. I think I want yeah. some orange juice. You want, it's, it's creeping too fast. It's, to me, it's just creeping up on me fast. Oh, no. Nah, I don't want the orange juice. Yeah, yeah, creep- yeah, yeah. It just don't t- it just tastes like a little, a little... Champagne, champagne. Yeah. Hey, Monique, can, can I get some orange juice? Oh, never mind. Um, yeah, yeah. My, my shit was all right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My week was all right. Yeah. My week was all right. Yeah. Yo, it's, it's International Women's Day today, and it's um Women's History Month. You okay. already know. So, well, you got some some ladies. We probably ain't studying, but you got yeah. some ladies at the top that you wanted to shout out. You know, I always got a lot of ladies to shout out. First, I'm gonna always shout out myself because I'm a phenomenal woman. Yo, I learned and a lot. They, and, Pause. And, I don't mean to cut you off, babe. I'm sorry. It's okay. Let me tell you, you uh, cause you swear I don't give you your motherfucking roses. She swear I don't. Let me yeah. let me say this. I learned a lot through Sade by Sade being and her Sade ish and shit. <laughs> her Sade being Sade and shit. I learned a lot. So. The fact that she was, <laughs> the fact that she was like, I want to shout out my first, myself first. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out Got to shout, shout mm-hmm. out to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm a woman on a journey, and I be doing a damn thing. Um, I just had a, a an event with my girl yesterday that went great. It was cardio and cleanse. We and worked shit. out and and shit. <laughs> we worked out and <laughs> shit. We had shit. smoothies, green smoothies, fueled our <clears throat> bodies, and then we ended it with positive meditation and affirmation with my girls. Has some ladies crying in there. It's always a blessing. You know, when I see my girls cry and release the emotion. So we did a great thing yesterday. So shout out to my girl, Corey, a.k.a. Jim Fitz, a.k.a. Slim C. You know what I'm saying? We did our thing yesterday. Um, Some other women I want to shout out uh, from a, you know, a perspective of a mentor, somebody that I look to um, that's a mentor far away that I don't know personally, but that I do watch and appreciate um queen afua queen afua. you already know shout out to queen afua doing her Getting thing i just seen her go ahead and upload some new retreats if you are looking to get on a spiritual journey tap into your highest self look up queen afua she's dope she's vegan she's damn near 60 running 15 miles on that ass she's super healthy super positive um <clears throat> some other ones i want to shout out um hmm, uh 
let's see some 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 ladies that I think is shining. Um, I love Yara Sh- Shahid. Yara Shahid from Grownish. Um, yeah, Shahidi. Shahidi. Excuse me. I'm Shahidi. sorry, baby girl. Um, you know, I was just telling uh, Jay, like, if I had, if Amaya was to grow up and be in her walk and doing her thing, I would love for her to look to Yara as a type of inspiration. I think she's dope. I think she's doing her thing. She's young, which is another reason why I want to shout her out because I think a lot of people pay a lot of homage to the OGs, but right now we got the millennials pulling up and they are coming strong. <clears throat> she is somebody that I think is just as character, uh, actor, doing her thing, uh, even just being as knowledgeable as she is on you know, humanitarian and just all these things. I think she's dope. Um, some local and just... You know, people that I want to shout out is always my girls. You know, I want to shout out Janae. That's my nail tech, black owned. Shout out to her doing her thing. She's also a dean, a teacher. Um, also <clears> been one of my close shout friends. Out shout out to Janae. Shout out to Monique doing her thing with the hair. She just was on the radio yesterday. Um, shout out to all my girls, honestly. They all doing their thing. I definitely just like to pay homage to, you know, the girls that I'm around that just breathes a lot of positive energy. Mm-hmm. Um, Shout out to all women because we are here. We are pulling up. We are pulling up strong. Yo, black women have come such a long way through all the generational BS that we have endured and we carried on and we took on from the family. I think that women really have in is to this day just making marks and just stigmas that people just didn't think they would see. And we, we coming through strong. So shout out to women, but shout out to my black women. I'm sorry, I cannot not say it. I love my black women, blackity black, 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 black. I said it, you know, shout out to all women. Not saying that, you know, I got some Hispanics and some Caucasians that are also doing their things. Um, but of course, shout out to my black woman <gasps> circle. Whoop, 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 love, whoop, whoop, whoop. love y'all. All right, let's get into it. Uh, I want to give my woman shouts out, uh, man. Shout out to my moms. Shout out to Sade. Yo, shout out to my mom. She's one of the strongest black women I've ever known. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know if y'all know the story. Everybody know the situation by now. What happened when I was born or whatever. That's take some strong shit. Shout out to my moms. Shout out to my aunt April, aka another mom. Shout out to Ms. Moo, another mom. Justin, my, my brother. Uh, <clears throat> shout out to my girlfriend, Shade, because she's like my manager slash assistant slash co-host slash girlfriend slash spiritual cleanser and shit slash and shit. spiritual advisor slash best friend slash everything shout out to my baby let me just, uh, let me just say you know it's love when you shout him out twice because he opened up with the shout out to shot day and then came back no nah, i did so i did I, shout, I did shout out you did? So, so i was like <laughs> yeah I, did. I was like shout out because she teach me a lot but i ain't that wasn't that, a real shout out that's from real the, love right there right, i just right, want right. to acknowledge a real look that's real oh, love right there. thank you my brother we're gonna give you your flowers bro yeah thank yo. you uh she but she not she probably don't like my uh, other shout outs <laughs> not hey yo what the fuck <laughs> I was, so I was no. about to shout out. All right, so shout out to all my uh my homies that's doing that thing. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Kendall, mm-hmm. Barb Kendall on Instagram. She she got you slayed a no, couple times. Barb Ken <clears throat> is my favorite hairstylist. I yeah. will say she's that. She's just expensive now. She's, she's just you know she's popping. You know what I'm saying, popping. Kendall? You know, fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Them prices have gone up, and you know when I get that bag on that, I'll do it on the regular. Right on now, regular. only on special occasion. But she is by far one of my favorite hairdressers. Yeah, sure. Yeah. You know her I, I watched Shorty uh grow, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to uh Raven Paris. Raven Definitely. Paris, she she's one of the ones that put me in the game, you know what Definitely. I'm saying? Um, shout out to shout out to Raven. I can't even shout out to Raven without shout out to TK. Shout out to TK. She definitely helped yeah. me with my uh, EPKs and shit. Mm-hmm. Shout out to uh my girl Keisha at the PR Alliance. She definitely doing shout her out thing. Shout out to Keisha. Uh shout out so I'm a, so if I don't say your name, is just blame it on yeah. my, my my brain and not my heart. You know right. what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, I said Raven, I said Keisha, I said Kendall. Yeah. Um, damn. Uh, it's a lot of other. Women I also want to shout out to Joy, the Back to Her podcast. I yeah. see, you know, they're doing their thing. It is a podcast dedicated to all things healing for women. Mm. Um, you know, I'm big on that. Shout out to Joy. She always reaches out to me. We talk just about, you know, she's another. She's probably the first woman that I've met personally that I know that was just as interested and obsessed with Queen of Four like I am I thought that was dope you know and just the foundation that we talk about just like completely like evolving past 
you know, the flesh. And I really appreciate her. Check out her podcast, mm. Back to Her podcast, on all streaming platforms as well. Shout Speaking out to of the that, Black shout Queens. also shout out to Monique. She on the squad. You, you know what I'm saying? Know. Yo, Monique. Yo, we love Monique. We, we change, talk about we, Monique. Yeah, yeah, Monique, yo, Monique don't even know. Yo, we talk about Monique so much. We was like, yo, we fuck she be on with fucking, Monique. She be on her. Yeah, we had to shit. change the name from like intern to assistant because yeah. like she be on she her. She probably bag. didn't even notice that, but yeah, we was she like, didn't. she ain't no intern. Yeah, Monique yeah. gonna, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, shout out to Monique. Uh, Monique, she be here. She's also, present. Sh- shout out to Jewel because she just lost her, her yes. uh, moms. So shout out to Jewel. Yes. Uh, definitely want to send, strong, send, baby send prayers out there. That takes a lot to do that. Yeah. Um. Shit. Uh, yeah. Um, it's so many it's other. So many. Women. It's, it's it's like almost like uh, getting a small like stump because it's, so, it's many so many women. Right? But just shout out to women. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's our day. It's our day. Uh, mm-hmm. We do get a lot of days, but it's okay. Y'all do like God damn. We get a lot of fucking days, but we deserve day. it. Yeah. Okay. We yes, deserve it. So that's let us have it. That's a fact. Love that's y'all. A, that's a fact. That's a fact. I mean, you know? well. Again, shout out to if you're a black woman doing your thing, and I know you personally, shout out to you because, like, you know, mm-hmm. I show love. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Ain't, ain't nothing personal. It's just mm-hmm. those women that I named were like people that had like a, a direct effect. I mean, yeah. like, Kendall, let me hold a fucking mother. <laughs> huh? Good camera. Good oh, camera. You can't hear me? <clears throat> you are, yeah. So, um, yeah, uh, shout out to all those queens yeah. doing that thing. Yeah, uh, sh- uh, shout out to, it's just a lot of them. Yeah. It's a lot of them. And, you know, uh, shout out to Baltimore because they carry a lot of talent. It's a lot of heavy hitting females out there. Something that I've, I've always noticed is a couple of them that I'm like, damn, y'all doing y'all thing. We appreciate y'all. Keep doing it because I know the stigma they put on Baltimore, but you know, y'all doing that motherfucking thing for real. Mm-hmm. For real. Well, not to say that my, you know what I'm saying, Montgomery County, DC, DMV not doing it. But I will say it's I just a lot know of ladies, a lot of ladies doing it from Baltimore. There's so. a lot of ladies in DC doing that thing. Like yeah, shit, definitely. Everybody at the station doing that thing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? From Big and Bear to Angie yeah. Ann's. Yo, special shout out to Angie Ann's because yo, mm-hmm. I'm not from DC, mm-hmm. but if I was from DC, oh my god, like Bruh. Angie, yo, yes. Yes. Angie Ann should be. Yes. Everybody <laughs> should look up to Angie yeah. as, yes. as motivation. Yeah. Listen, this is inspiration, and and, and that and that I don't yeah. even have to be from DC to, to look at her as inspiration. She started from the bottom. Yeah. And she kept it DC and she yeah. kept it 100. I mean, it's been times where other people got opportunities where <clears throat> she should have been got yeah. opportunities, but she didn't yeah. get the opportunities, and that's the game. And she yeah. waited, she waited her turn, she yeah. kept on her thing, and now she got a syndicated radio show, yeah. um, over 40 shows, yeah. over 40 stations, yeah. um, over 40 markets. Man, shout Crazy. out to Angie Angel. Uh, like, another shout out from DC that I've been just watching from afar, I actually know her. You know, through friends from our younger days, but so you know, meeting her back then and watching her now, DJ Damo is mm. fucking wilding right now. Man, DJ, shout out to DJ. Shout Damo. out to my uh, my line to the DJ Huxable. Damn, yeah, yo, we no, got DJ it's, Huxable. It's, it's yo, women's. oh yeah, niggas is women is out here winning. Yes, they, they are. Women is out here winning. Shout out to, shout out sure. to the women. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Miss Mallory. You know what I'm saying? She gave yeah. my first opportunity yeah, on send it send not send terrestrial, terrestrial, yeah. terrestrial radio. radio. Yep, double up. You know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like. Oh, shout out to all these women out here doing, doing that fucking thing. thing. You know what I'm saying? Just like, thing. Eh, shout out and to, all, shout out to all. You, and if you as a lady, look, it's so many people to be inspired by. Look at it, no, you know, look at it in a way like you may not be there yet, but be inspired because it's a lot of people to be inspired Facts. by right now. And also, shout out to all the women that's that's doing that thing without having to put sex in it. Yeah, love it. You know what I'm saying like to yeah. keep it honey, like yeah. It's hard to do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, real shit. Yeah, so shout, shit. shout out to y'all, man. Shout out to my ladies, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the ladies. Oh, this made me feel so good. And just, you know, I didn't even plan to have my event yesterday for the ladies yesterday, but it just tied in, you know, just feeling that positive energy from, you know, just all my feminine sisters just coming together and just doing what they do. It, it was a really it was good thing. a great thing. event. Yeah. 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 Shout so. out to, yo, actually, yeah. Shout out to Slim C, man. She, <clears throat> one of the hardest working women, you know what I'm saying? No, like, it's dead ass. She putting in that work. Put you know what in saying? work. Yeah, I, I'm, I, be, I be getting on her ass, but like, mm, shout out to her. You gotta... <clears throat> You just gotta give you know, what it's due. Know, it is yeah. what it is. Yeah, but she she like, be doing her thing. Yeah, she so. works hard. She made a brand for herself, and it is only going up from here. So shout out to Slim C, baby. Yeah. Let's we get it out. Let's get into this podcast, Let's get man. Into this podcast. Let's get it. We'll be talking about today. You so, had a great topic. Yes. Mm. So I had a topic, you know, and I was reading an article, and what it's going to go into is part of me. If I don't say. The you gotta explain it. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna have to explain it after I say the actual name of the topic. So it's love languages versus 
love and its desire, mm. mm -hmm. right? So I was reading an article. So a lot of people know of the book um, or they just know of five love languages of love. Five love languages of love, excuse me, right? So the five are what? Affirmation, reassurance, gifts, and... Um, Look it up. It's, Quality time. There we go. Touch. And yep. I don't remember what the last one is. Right. It's it's, it's five. Okay. I, I, off the top of my head, I just know what mine are. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I keep those in my mind. But, yeah. uh, you know, we, you definitely know the five mm -hmm. love languages of love. It, I, just about everybody I know either read the book or know what the five love languages of love are, mm. right? Um, so I was reading an article the other day, and when, when Alex pulled it up, he's he, he, he going to pull it up for us. I was reading an other day, article the other day, and it was by a pastor. Um, and something that stuck out to me was that I looked at this in a, another perception. So, you know, a lot of times, like, people say, you know, these are my love languages, right? You know, so, like, for me, mine is affirmation and assurance and quality time. Mm -hmm. So affirmation, reassurance, and quality time, right? So that's what I know that I need to required, feel loved, right? right? Like required, <laughs> right? For me to feel loved or to, you know, I need these things, right? <clears throat> and something a pastor put in play was just that, you know, you can use love languages as a resource, but you cannot use it as the book to guidance of how to love someone. Or a crutch. Or a crutch. Or we, excuse. We could, yeah. Or excuse, right? <clears throat> and there was two reasons why. <clears throat> so the first reason why was because a lot of times it becomes a back and forth thing. The back and forth of like, all right, you know my love languages, mm -hmm. so give me my love languages. I know your love languages, so I'll give you your love languages. So mm -hmm. if I give you, you give me. You give me, I give you. Mm -hmm. Now we're in a back and forth like this is, if you give it to me, I'll give it to you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Instead of it being like, I just love you just because. Like you don't even have to give that to me for me to give you my unconditional love, right? Because that could also be used in the form of manip manipulation. manipulation. That's a fact. Like, a fact. <clears throat> I know what you like, and I know what you need to be loved, so I can be doing these things over here, but as long as I give you this, you'll feel that I love you, you know? And it can really be detrimental in certain relationships because, one, manipulation does not belong in any relationship, yeah. you know what I mean? Even though we all have Sexual small... Sexual war, Yeah, period. <clears throat> you know, because even though we all have small things in us, you know, accidental manipulation, not... Everybody has a little piece of something in them, right? So you don't want to be manipulated into the fact of this is how they know I want to be loved. So mm -hmm. they'll do that just so I can feel loved, right? The other side of it is, <clears throat> well... God, you know, every day we are trying to be better. Like, so, and, and it's really almost to mirror that God-like image. Like, oh, we're all for love. We're 100% full of love. And the thing is, something that stuck out to me the most was, well, God doesn't, God doesn't love us in the way we want to be loved ever. He actually loves us the in the way, way we, we need to be, to be loved. Mm. You know what I mean? So a lot you of times. Church? You know what I'm saying? I take, you know what I'm saying? Where we got to go, yeah. you know? We go where we need to go. I like that. You know? That's the five, too. Yeah. Bet. So the five are words of affirmation, acts of service, receiving gifts, quality time, and physical touch, right? And what are, what do, what, what are two that you think you are? Two that I think I am. I'm words of affirmation, and I'm quality time. Mm, right. Okay. So the thing is, you know, we get really codependent on, you know, basically I need these things to feel loved. Right. So now it's like if I don't receive those things, I won't be happy. Mm. You get what I'm saying? We have to get out that habit of thinking, well, if I don't get this now, I'm no longer happy. And the reason why is because if you think about it, we are not here to like happiness is an inside job a fact. you know what i mean so if you unconditionally love somebody and they don't give you your acts of service that love alone should be good enough right, right right and a lot of times what happens is we're actually looking to get a love that we desire so like a, a love that our parents didn't give us, mm -hmm. a love that we didn't receive as a child, love that that we get uh, that we didn't give ourselves, a love that we didn't give ourselves. You know what I mean? So now we're actually desiring these qualities mm -hmm. and think that's what we need to be loved, but in hindsight, we just really want that. Like that's just what we want. Or, or honestly, people don't put the pressure on it, but a lot of it is movies. Mm -hmm. These things we grew up seeing. Okay, like well, he treats his princess like this it's so of, it's like it's behavior. fairy tale it's yeah. learned behavior like we've been looking at these things all this time and it's like well well on 
this movie, you know, he showed he loved her by showering her with gifts and things, and, and, and that's how you knew he loved her. But, and Melissa, is that what she needed? Mm. You know what I mean? Like, like it, it, well, what if she's been getting gifts her whole life and they don't mean anything? I like I like when you compare it to, you like, because, you know, God is, is a saying that they say, um, God, doesn't, God doesn't always give you what you want, but he always gives you what you need. So that's it, kind of like that's so like yeah. my love isn't sometimes, but it's hard to de de determine or yeah. decipher which was which is which yeah. because it's like sometimes my love isn't fulfilling what you want. Mm -hmm. It's fulfilling what you need, but you don't know you need it because all you know is what you want. Exactly. So now mm -hmm. we're in desire. We're right. not in love language, and now realistically, that's selfish. Mm. It's selfish. I was trying to cue that song "Fire and Desire." Who sang <laughs> that song? Who was that? Uh -huh. it, it, it comes off selfish now it's no longer love which is selfless and compassionate and empathy and all these things it now is selfish to the flesh and what i need and what i need only and if you don't give me that you know what you're not the Hit one the for road, me Jack. i'm upset i'm up happy and a lot of reasons why a lot of relationships can fail because we're working in desire and so we're not working in or out of love the first per the first way to to i guess come to a conclusion on that or to, to fix that is acknowledgement, right? So yeah. we acknowledge that. How what's what's a next step to us really fulfilling this or fixing this, let's say, problem or issue? How do we do right. that? Right. Um, so <clears throat> something that I realized is that it's not well, Drake boy, it's an old song. <laughs> well, fire and desire. Well, Hold old, on, Drake. Oh. Fire and desire is fire, though. But it's you know a old. But no, I know what you're. I know what Jay's talking Come about. Come on, like, don't he do put that. Like, like you know, I'm better than that. Well, wait, no, well, we go fire desire. We immediately went to Drake. I'm not talking about no Drake. <laughs> He met. Come, he met. Yeah. He yeah. Met James. Man, come on. <laughs> Jay said fire and desire. They smooth went to Drake. That's wow. my guy. Way no. to set your mark in history, boy. Go that's on. The, that's where we. That's where we at in today's yeah. age now. But why not? That's crazy. I'm an old head for real. Yeah, Jay's an old. Well, soul. thank you for finding it anyway. He's an old soul. <laughs> Wow. You know, but some, some steps that I would say, you know, that to conclude that you are moving out of love and not desire when it revolves your love language and things is obviously one, like I said, that journey to always figuring out exactly who you are is really what it starts with. Mm. Because if I know my own voids that I need to fill or where I'm at and where I'm trying to go, then I know what I don't need from you mm, aka if i love myself first exactly right because i'm if loving I, me I, exactly. so anything you give me is you, uh this was one of my on favorite anyway. lines that janae Iko said and shout out to her she just pushed that new album shout out to all the ladies who just pushed the album because megan just dropped janae just dropped you feel what i'm saying so she says i love me enough for the both of us mm, snap for that can we snap for that i like that I love me enough for the both of us. You know what I'm saying? And, and um, I think that's really important because there's going to be times where your spouse really just can't give you any of your love languages. They're not capable. What happens when they're not capable? What happens when they're in their own season and they have to deal with themselves and they're growing and doing, you know, their own thing. And now you're like, well, you're not giving me this. So there's no way that you could love me. But the whole time I've yeah, been loving cool. you. But the whole time I've been loving you, it's just not. It's the season is focused on me right now. Mm. So How do, do you, you? What do you leave them? You you stop dealing with them. You you act like they no like, longer it's, exist. It's kind of hard to like even to determine when, who season it is because we all selfish. We're selfish. Not in a uh, like it's not on purpose, intentional yeah. way. It's just that's how we. That's how humans are. Well, we, well, well <clears> the <throat> thing is, we're all sinners by default. You mm. know what I mean? We're, we all sin. No, we're, like we're, we're we're all living an imperfect, flawed no, life. Just, my bad, babe. You could just put it on top. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> yeah like we're all living an imperfect life in general. So it's it, it's by default we are all flawed. So we don't know for real. Mm -hmm. Like you don't. You can never say on top of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. You think it's going light later? You know, Sean, you should spark it a little bit. Let's try it. It's bone. Yeah, so because we're all imperfect and we're all sinners by default, how can you tell somebody that they're not loving you? Mm. Mm. We don't. You, you don't. You, you know, we're all still studying that fact of what love is. We don't have a f pure definition on it. We know it's a feeling. We know it's unconditional. But how can we sit here and judge somebody for how they love us when we're all making the same mistakes? 100%.
I like that. Yeah, so that's just something I thought was something that somebody or even myself needs to hear constantly. Like, I cannot channel Jay to continuously love me my way. Well, the world is like, well, you need to love me my way. Well, but you what, know how that do you I accept? like words of affirmation yeah, and right. quality time. So exactly. you need to love me my way. But how about accepting that until they are learning to, well, first of all, learning you, they are still learning to love your way Talk because they that. only know how to love in their way. And, 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 and that actually goes into my next topic, right? Yeah. Because they wouldn't know that's growth, but they wouldn't know that. You know what I'm saying? Because if somebody watching it for the first time, like, oh, she's so dope. But it can, that's like, growth. You know, I think there was plenty of times, Screen, um, there was plenty of times that, you know, I wasn't as accepting of Jay of how he was loving me. Like, even today, to this day, we still work through that. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I need this or I need that or this and that and that and that. You know what I'm saying? And it's just really that we really have to accept people for where they are and not expect them to be at the ending point of themselves already. Like that's hard to be. Nobody is at their end best self yet. We are walking that journey. So stop condemning people and thinking that they're wrong for simply just not knowing yet, not mm -hmm. being there yet, not right. learning it yet. You know what I mean? It, it's really a process, you know? And even when I have to face myself, I'm like, well, you ask him for all this, you ain't there either. Like, you know what I mean? The thing You're not about at it, the end either. That, the thing about it, though, is it's just, it's hard. Like, growing is hard. Like, that shit is painful. Nigga. It hurts. Like, it's, <laughs> like it hurt. Like, my legs want... was just in the gym. I just was working out yesterday. My legs hurt. That's exactly how grown hurt. It just right. hurt in your heart. And like, nigga, what? Like, and it's worse because it's your heart. It's like, exactly. you think you're you supposed to do you something. Can't, you can't do nothing. You can't go get an ice pack to put on your heart mm -hmm. because it's hurting because you're growing. You can't, you can't go get a bandage and wrap up your leg because you're growing. Like, you can't do that. You literally have to grow through it you yeah. have to feel through it like you have to do these things like it's it's hard but what do you do when it's hard how about that yo you gotta you gotta just learn to accept it and um honestly that like it's just like you just gotta learn to accept it and if you don't mm -hmm. it is what it is you gotta like it's nothing it's really nothing you can do you get what i'm saying like um like if you don't if you if you, if you see it first of all first thing is acknowledgement right and then um the next thing is yeah, acceptance. right. Like you know what I'm saying, yeah. like it's like it is. Yeah. It's like you see, you want to yeah. accept People, this shit yeah. and make it a little bit easier for you, or you gonna make it harder on yourself and not accept it. Just, out. just block now. Like no, it's not that. <laughs> and I will tell you, a lot of my hardest times is when I don't want to accept something. The minute that I'm not numb, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, it makes the process longer. It takes me longer to understand it because I'm not open to that other side. Right. So, but that goes into um just talking about how how that's growth, right? So I wanted to talk about just <clears throat> so. We got it as like you know um, meeting meeting somebody. Wow, I didn't they, even know that was your topic. Yeah, it's crazy because we yeah, can talk that today, right? Cool. Like like meeting somebody and not, seeing where they at today versus like knowing who they were, right? But I, I originally wanted to bring it up as far as just like acknowledgments, right? And just follow me a little bit because it might get lengthy trying to explain it. But you know, a lot of times when you're with somebody, for, as far as my example, right? All my friends, because I'm very candid, I'm very like transparent, even sometimes too transparent, niggas be like, yo, Jay, you better stop saying you this and that, right? So like everybody know my situations kind of, right? Like I tell everybody I'm very open with it. So a lot of my friends and even associates, when I accomplish goals, they're, they're like, yo, Jay, I've seen you come through the mud. Like, yo, you deserve it so much. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes I be wondering like, damn, I wonder if that makes my partner feel away like wish she was there when I was at the bottom or whatever the case may be like you do you do you sometimes wish that you was able to share these testimonies that other people have how does that make so, you feel so I will be honest like sometimes like I'll even see Jay like tweet something like you know shout out to my friends they've been here you know from day one to watch you know whatever and I think it's really because like you know you know, not to be shady or whatever. I just be like, yeah, those people watched it, but they didn't sit in the trenches with you. You mm. know what I'm saying? Some people, yeah, were there through certain instances. Some people watched it and seen you be a testimony from that to that to that. And then there's people who sat with you, which not people, me, you know, sat with you, you know, L after L, mm. win, win, L, L, win, win. I think that consistence of pattern just you know it can feel like i'm you because i'm the first in line to you when these things happen so yeah like sometimes like it's not that i wish i was there i enjoyed the the stories that i hear but it's just like you always want that credit 
too because at the end of the day yeah they may have been here 10 years ago but somebody who consecutively sat in the trenches like when you come home mm -hmm. when you lay down when you are praying you know or crying for something at night they don't see those sides they hear the testimony right you know what i mean or they hear the struggle and then when the struggle's over they see the praise but they don't they're not really they're not in it, in it. like even if you tell the them shoes. like about the tears yeah. at that moment they're not like they may feel for you and yeah. they may like damn like you know what i mean but as you know your partner of course yeah your friends matter 100 percent. they're super important but when somebody's sitting in it with you it's another aspect of it. Like, right. you know what I mean? So, you know, I, de I definitely think it's, I, I don't feel no way, but of course I'm always like, hmm, well, I've been in the trenches. So, <laughs> but I like, it's crazy you know. because I like how, um, I like how, uh, Alex had written it down. Um, can you go up a little bit? He, I, like, I like how he put it because he's like meeting somebody where they are and not knowing where they came from. Cause that, yeah. that goes into a different conversation yeah. of just growth levels. Right. Yeah. Cause a lot of times I think I was having this conversation with my friends. A lot of times, I'll get upset and I kind of want those word, words of affirmation or yeah. those acknowledgements saying, yeah. yo, you came a long way. I'm glad you ain't yeah. handled it that way. When the whole time, you don't know that. You just met you me mean, for right a while. Now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you have no idea. Right. So when I, even if, even sometimes like when you say like, if I, like I could have been like this and the first thing I'm thinking is like, well, why would you be like that anyway? Nigga, cause I've been doing, this is what I've right. been doing. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. So it's kind of like how, in that moment, right? Mm -hmm. How does it feel, or how do we even get over that? How can we even touch on that? As far as like somebody else in a relationship, and it's like, yo, man, I could have zapped out on you, or if this was the old me type shit, right? Right, because, because a lot I, of times we feel unappreciated, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because especially because somebody doesn't know your past, because there's been times where I'm like to Jay, like, you have no idea, boy, because the old me would have tore this motherfucker to pieces, and I'm okay? like, well, well why burnt would you want to do that anyway? <laughs> but burn that he has said that to me verbatim, I would have burnt this motherfucker down. There would be no house. There, there would be no car. There would be, you know, I, you know, I like I said at my event yesterday. I had to tell people a lot of. I'm like, look, I have came a long way, but your partner may not have seen that, so they thinking like, well, you're still this way, even though you're like, I took twenty thousand steps to get here. Right. You know what I mean? And I think the the biggest thing is learning your partner's history. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? Like listening, like actively listening, like you know, and asking those questions, like you know, with some struggles that you had, like, you know, what are some of your fears? Like, and what, like learning literally their struggles. You know, I think sometimes people may have heard the stories, but there's sometimes like you might not talk to your significant other about all those hurtful situations and you don't have to get into debt about everything you might have buried away and don't want to revisit. But I think it is important to know your partner's history. No, and know where they come you, from. You'll learn it as, as time yeah. goes. You don't learn everything yeah. at one point in time, but um, that's something, and I think, I look at it differently, right? But even though I can agree with how you said learn your partner, because yeah. you definitely want to learn your partner. But me, I look at it as a self thing. Like if if I kind of want you to acknowledge me for not acting like I was acting ten years ago when when I was acting ten years ago just wasn't right. So I don't, I shouldn't be ex expecting yeah. acknowledgement for you. Yeah. Ex instead of just acknowledging it myself, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Okay, look, I grow through this. I'm not back then there, yeah. and I don't want to go back there, yeah. so I'm not going to go back there. So yeah. when you don't acknowledge that, I'm not about to be upset with you. I, what I need to do is self-reflect on my own self, you know what I'm saying? Because right. that's not the place to be, and I, I've learned right. that. So the fact right. that I'm even thinking about that, yeah. well, I need to check my damn yeah, self, you exactly. know what I'm saying? So it's not like, real. <clears throat> and it, like, it, honestly, like, you know, we have to stop having these expectations for people while well, our spouses as if they're like, also, robot yeah, like <laughs> you're supposed to just know, like I, I came from here. No, the fuck I didn't. You don't know. Like at the end of the day, and sometimes you just have to trust what your partner says too. If I say this is hard for me to deal with, or I cannot, like and I came a long way and I really want to punch a hole in this wall, but I'm going to walk away and cool down. And it's like, well, who does that? Or like, why would you? Much better than mm -hmm. It said this too slow to write or something. Honestly, another thing is growth. It hurts, right? So a lot of yeah. a lot of times acceptance is important because you got to accept if you love your partner, right? It's either you're going to accept what they're saying or you're going to dip. Right. All the stuff in between is like, yo, you're just it's, making it worse. Like right. me and Shadi had a conversation this morning or whatever. And she's like, yo, this isn't what it is. You know what I'm saying? This, it might have looked like this, but it ain't what it is. You know what I'm saying? So far as me, it's like, yo, all right, you're going to either accept that it's not like that and move forward or you're just going to keep going walk, and, walk away right. like, you're like you're saying like you're not about yeah, to just because a lot of time we spend a lot of in, we spend a lot of time in the in between time and that's what you get fucked like, up and that's, and that's where the arguments stem from like a lot of times it's like well i just and i just and i just and like it's like okay 
Like, we acknowledge why you were wrong. So, right, I understand. Right, move How forward. To, yeah, like, right, exactly. You know. Nah, so I like. I definitely. I definitely think those, those two topics yeah. are like definitely like important yeah. to touch on. Yeah, I, um, I think so too. Yeah, I like right. that. Uh, let's get. Where we at, Alex? What time? Where we at? Right, oh, okay. Right, let's get so it. we at um. Let's get to well, the shit. Well, okay, boom, let's get with some shit. So let's first of all, oh, so oh now we gotta go to your shit. Yeah, yeah. So oh, first of all, I had a question. So after wrapping up those two things, right? So I see the meme that, not meme, uh, post from Little Duval, mm -hmm. and what it said was, you know, if a woman really loves a man when he has no money, and you know if a man really loves a woman when he has the money, or everything yeah, was yeah. a term. So mm -hmm. you know, That's a, a woman loves a man. When he has nothing, and you know when a wo a man loves a woman when he has everything. Do you agree with that? I think so. Why? Because. So, this isn't our relationship, so don't get it twisted. I tell my tell niggas this all the time. Yeah. And well, I can only speak on like people, when people are living together. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, and I've heard this. A lot of times, people make sacrifices because it's gonna help their situation. And I don't agree with that. Me, I'm a stubborn nigga. Yeah. So like If it's help I'd rather Be homeless Like honestly Keep it 100 Like I ain't like All that splitting you, Like I don't Like me my, I got my pride And maybe that's just What get in my way sometimes But I, That's just the way I'm at with it right? right But A lot of times That play a part of it You know what I'm saying Y'all might be splitting rent You know what I'm saying Y'all might be She might have a car You don't have a car She might have some money That she helping you <laughs> out with No That's that cash 22 <laughs> You know? So it might be that. Um, I'm sorry. Good? You want some water? Right, take a shot of that. Gin, that. No, no thanks. I'm gonna just right, man. Sip the, 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 the rosé. So Damn. like, it might, it might be that. It, uh, it's a lot of things, man. And then when you when you on top of the world, they say, uh, they say, when a nigga is hungry, when a nigga is starving, you can't tell him nothing. When a nigga's eating, you can't tell him nothing. <laughs> all in all, can't tell a nigga shit. You right, know what I'm saying? Period. So it's like, yeah. So sometimes what happens is like, because when he's starving, he's, he got to, you can't tell him nothing because he got to do what he got to do to eat. Yeah. Now when he's eating, you can't tell him nothing because I got myself here to eat. Before you going to tell me. Right. right? So it's like, <clears throat> I feel like when uh, when a man has everything and he's putting up with you, it's like, well, not even putting up with you, it's just like, yo, I'm really here for, for, for love, right? Yeah. It's like, I really love you. And it's like, yeah. I really want to be with you. And not even it, I think it goes further than that Because There's a lot of things like Men Well I can't talk for everybody else But me <coughs> far as like I'm a man <coughs> I, I, I'm, I'm over things really quick And if I feel like I'm not getting what I want Again I'd rather Just dip And sacrifice not having anything Or sacrifice not having you at that moment I'd rather sacrifice not having you at that moment and then just deal with it from there, right? Yeah. But again, that's easier said than done when you not when you in a situation, yeah. right? Yeah. But as far as a woman, I feel like I, I I think it's true for sure. But again, you just never could tell because every yeah. it could be case by case. Because it be yeah. some woman loving a nigga, a nigga for his potential. Like shout out yeah. to other weekend, he had a song that's like she don't love me for why she love me for my potential, mm -hmm. and and that's some real shit because like a lot of women are just. Playing a patient game, mm -hmm. waiting for a nigga to, yeah. to make it yeah. because they know something gonna come out. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. uh, it, yeah. it'll be a bitch, um, a, a woman. I'm sorry, it'll be a girl that love a woman. It's one, it's one, it's fucking. Yeah, yeah. You know it, our it day. It, it'll Relax. be, a, it'll be a chick. No that, bitches today. It'll be a chick that love a man because he in college and he broke, but she see he got a bright future. Yeah. He might be about to go yeah. to the NFL. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. So it's like you just never know. But <clears throat> if I had to like judge it off a of yeah. first, I'll probably say yeah. Yeah. I definitely. Yeah, yeah, I think I agree with that too. Um, and I think. Like I said, I think that's a lot of what you said too. Like some women do love her potential. You see their potential or they just really full out just love you. Like, so it really don't matter where you are. And I think like, because women have grew up to nurture anyway, I think a lot of times, you know, you know, f permitting the fact that they have done the work with themselves and they're working on themselves, you know, it's either they're, they're okay with nurturing the fact and being mm -hmm. here or they're nurturing out of, they don't know anything else to do anyway, right? Yeah. So they're naturally just like, I'm here, I'm a shoulder, I'm a, you know, sometimes a crutch, I'm what you need, like, you know what I mean? So by default, I think that's just something that's in women to want to do you, be, be uh, honestly, be a rib. Do you think that woman, that's crazy, because like, do you, that raises a question, do you think that women kind of shoot themselves in the foot when 
All the time. Men don't hype, but let's say they don't need it, but when they don't show that they need a nurturer, for example, like it's like everything is going good or so not everything, mm-hmm. but like for the most part, I don't need you to nurture me. Do you mm-hmm. think women because it's like a pull away that they have a problem with that? Yeah, for sure. Mm. Because then they feel not needed. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I think, you know, from the beginning of the time, we, we, you know, you, you're going to be a mother, you're going to be a wife. Like, you know, I think women were prepped to be wives since we was like, shit. The kid, you know what I mean? Since we were walking, like that's something people did. They prepped you to be a wife. Oh, you're not going to get a man like this. Or you got to be clean. Or you got to, you know, put yourself together. Or you got to do things. And I think that, you know, we were kind of, Structured and you know, I think definitely society is changing in a way that we're really starting to thankfully be structured just to be a woman in general. But at a time, I think a lot of the structure was to make a woman fit for a man or a mother. Okay, those were like two of the stick, you know, stigmas. Go ahead, Alex. Uh, my question is, do you feel like because you you mentioned the part of not needing or it not <coughs> needing the nurturing? Is it that you don't want it and don't know that you need it? Because sometimes, like yeah. you were saying, we're talking about not needing it, but sometimes we do need the, mm-hmm. the nurturing, mm-hmm. and we feel like we're callous, we're moving callously when we actually need it. So right. How do you, as a man, determine like when to open up and like? Great question. Vent, or, vent. So that's a great question, right? Because I meant I kind of meant to say like, do you think women shoot themselves in the foot, or do you think they feel away when we don't need it how you think we need it? Yeah. Well, for okay. example, like I might be. I might be good with working all the time or whatever the case right. may be, right? I don't need a rest. I don't yeah, need you know what I'm saying? Today. And like you think you want to be there for me by telling me to rest. And then what happens is you're actually, it's kind of like you're taking away from my dream. Yeah. So now it's like you're in my way now instead yeah. of supporting my dream, right? And that's, a, I mean, honestly, that's a, a way of nurturing, right? But I feel like people I, look at it differently. Like you might think nurturing is like, yo, I'm going to tell him to do this because he needs to listen to me. Or I see he's yeah. acting up. So I'm going to tell it like this when it's yeah. like you just doing it the wrong way, kind of, yeah. right? Um, but oh, well, I think there definitely has to be. A, to- I think there just really has to be a fine line of balance, and people mm. have to want to understand the balance. Like you know, even as women, when you're telling a man like you do need a rest, you know, you need you know you work a lot or you need to do these things. But I also need to think that women need to account for like yeah, but things also has to get done. So there has to be a balance. Don't tell nobody to take <laughs> two days off when you know that they have a lot to do, and mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Simply, you might can tell them to take an hour for themselves, but you can't tell them to take two days off. Like balance you know what I mean, key. I balance is key. Out. Salary. Exactly. I'm not so, on a salary. Right? Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, I think balance plays a part in that. I think also, like, you know, of course, it, like I said, the, I think the biggest game now and that's starting to come about is people really just finding themselves because I think a lot of times, you know, a woman can't tell a man anything. A man has to either find it in themselves and then be open to listening to somebody. And you can't tell a man to do that. Like right. a man has to physically go through their own journey to realize that, you know what? That's okay to do. And you know, like, the you hardest know I mean? thing about relationships is damn, you just said your friend said this and I'm, I didn't even peep. The hardest thing about the relationship is growing together, together. because what happens yeah. is you're going to, if y'all are in love, right? Y'all yeah. going to be with each other during those hard times. So yeah. it, it's going to, it might go from, you're trying to tell me that I need a break or whatever the case. You're trying to yeah. tell me whatever I need, right? Right. I'm not trying to hear that. So what happens is patience, yep. acceptance, yep. and then eventually, or not even eventually, because sometimes we put in our mind what yeah. eventually is. We put in yeah. our mind what eventually is, right? Yeah. But eventually he will under, start to understand that what I was doing in the past wasn't really good. Yep. Because yep. that's, that's what happened with life anyway, with, yep. with growth, right? So a lot of times that'll happen is just, how long does it take yeah. and are you willing to go the distance yeah. to see it happen yeah. to see the growth happen it's like that's nah that's 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 a motherfucker yeah, yeah no yeah. that's great I'm here with so, you though dog boom I'm here we, to grow with you we locked in yeah. so, cheers to that to grow to growing together <laughs> together mm. so if someone offered to tell you exactly what you would be doing in 20 years from now but you could not change anything about the future would you want them to tell you or no no nah, not really you smart i don't even want to know sure yeah. let me let me get get it done man good good boom because what's gonna happen is y- y'all, remember Des- y'all remember no not even that you remember that's so raven yeah hell yeah every time she found out what's gonna happen she would try her best to do something to not make it happen and that's why it happened well, yep yep <laughs> yeah yep. you can't so really you can't, change you can't change your destiny Facts. boom would you rather lose everything like whoa hold on Sorry. Would you rather lose all your money and your valuables or all of the pictures you have ever taken in your life? All of my pictures. Because, you know, I'll get rid of my shit. 
all your pictures, like every last one, yeah, so Facebook, our, <clears throat> Instagram, every. So, would you rather? Would you erase every memory from you? So honestly, I want my memories, right? But because I'm like kind of honestly, right? Because I, I'm mm. kind of used to. So I don't know, cause now I want I want my memories now, because I'm kind of used to not having my memories. Mm -hmm. Like it's times where I see, like shout out to my guy DJ Ricky Platinum. He was he had a video on Instagram of him being a kid with the mic in his hand, right? And I'm like, damn, like I don't have yeah. no pictures, yeah. no videos same, of me. Same. Like I don't even remember same. what the fuck I looked like when yeah, I was when I was little. Five, you know yeah, what I'm saying? same. So I was like, damn, that's dope. But because yeah. I'm kind of used, used to it, it's like man, I gotta get. My yeah. bag. Up. It's it's so crazy because recently I really started value valuing pictures more mm -hmm. and like times and pictures with friends and just because when time just looks starts to look so sensitive and you experience so many like you you know like legends and people passing and things and like could you imagine not having anything to have yeah so to I remember to you know to <laughs> remember um you know your loved ones by or these things so like I would reason, need my pictures. Only reason I'm gonna say the money right. Not the value. The only reason I'm gonna say the money is because the reason I would want the pictures is not for me because I'm already at the point where as though I don't have them and it's like man, fuck it. Even though I wish I had them, right? But I'm gonna say the money is because it's kind of the same reason. Yeah. The pictures leave a legacy for your family. Yeah, yeah. But the money is gonna make sure my We're family is good. okay. Ah, I like it. Hey. You know what I'm saying so. It's like I'd rather Very make good. sure my family, make sure my family is okay and allow them to have that legacy and have the pictures and everything then to right. leave them with pictures and, and them not nothing. yeah so yep. i really like that. that hashtag cool. a man <laughs> hashtag amen i like that boom okay so weave our natural hair weave our natural hair i want you to look good so if your natural hair look good do your thing mm -hmm. but i mean if you're not like uh a, a, um a natural hair woman, and you like weave, do your thing. You know, I, I'm yeah. always at yeah. Makeup, no Jay, makeup. Just, like, all that. Like, just as long as you look good, I don't yeah, give a fuck like, what you got going on. Look good, sure. Yeah, so if you want to do the weave, do the weave. So, a fake banging body or a average regular body. Um, I'm, I'm a so now nah, I'm a I'm a face guy though. I mean, you know that, like you know what I mean. But you no, nah, because you swear everybody. That's not the mean. question. But cut the shit. <laughs> nah, you know, everybody Q and A on the way. My, Even ugly people are Q and A on the way. My situation's been all they got cute and they, like some people be ugly, but they cute. I'm like, saying you, you are like cute. the tall, petite, skinny. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I but I don't like. But the body, I'm with the body though. Like, so so a fake banging body or a regular average body, natural. I mean, regular right average is good. Like I, you know what I'm saying, but if you're not happy with it. Let's get, get some titties. Like, 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 like I ain't like I don't care. Like like I'm with you. Like your face, as long as your face look good. Which Cheeto? Which flame hot Cheetos? Right? Wait, not not flaming hot Cheetos. Which hot fries? The one oh, come in on. the blue not bag. Not the fries. Or the one in the yellow bag Cheetos. Wait, nah, is they both yellow? No. Oh no, hot fries. Hot you mean. fries. Yeah, so blue the, bag. The blue bag. Easy. What you picking? Blue bag. Easy. Blue bag are OG. Yeah, yeah that's like OG on. right there. What you I picking, Wyman? Hot fries, not hot, hot Cheetos. Hot fries. The blue, the blue bag, bag or, or the, the yellow, yellow bag, bag with the Cheetos. Those are the Cheetos brand, though. Yeah. Yellow, yellow bag? bag? I'm You're picking tripping. yellow bag. You're tripping. Yellow bag really bangs, know. yo. Y'all yeah, niggas. No, no, is blue. Tripping. No, blue. You ain't going to the ice cream. Hold on. Like, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, no, no. Fuck, blue is like, OG, but that yellow bag hit different. All right, so. That old man been that, holding that, it hey, down forever. Can you pull it up? I'm going to ask this question. What? Because you brought a great topic. What flaming hot? Cause you know they all got to like the flaming hot now. Yeah, everybody do. Which brand? Which chip? Period. Would you like? I'm, I'm gonna see if um if we got it. They might not even have it because it's probably not. So we got the flaming hot Cheetos, but we also got the flaming hot uh, Doritos. Uh, Funyuns. Funyuns. They got the flaming hot uh, Doritos. Ooh. Oh, so now that's a great. Now that's a great Cheetos. bag. That's a great picture right there. It's Cheetos, Doritos, hot fries, hot Funyuns, hot Funyuns. Oh, it's hot Cheetos for me. Anyway. Just go back. Just go back. Go back. Go. There you go. So hot Cheetos, hot Doritos, hot fries. Fritos. Damn, it's harder than I thought. Flaming hot Cheetos. I'm gonna go up. Che so wait, they got two hot Cheetos. Yeah. In that? Oh what? no, because those are the, the big, puffy the ones. The curls. The curls. Damn. So. Hot, flame hot, so flaming hot uh, Cheetos. Flaming hot Cheetos. Flaming hot Doritos. Hot fries, 
flame flame of hot the cheat like the cheetos the yeah. cheetos the the bigger fat ones flame of hot fritos i'm picking flame of hot, hot cheetos yeah. First of all, if you pick Fritos, you're an assassin. But they don't have a flaming hot fr- Funyuns, though. Don't. The Funyuns are The Funyuns are hot. hot. The, the Funyuns fire. fire. First of all, y'all want some. You picking. I'm picking five. I'm the, that's the flaming hot Cheetos, for sure. No, that's not the that's not the smaller ones, though. You still but picking it, five? Yeah, I'm picking Cheetos. The, the bigger ones? The I'm picking Cheetos. No. They're the puff ones. Five. Look, they got five. Oh, five. Yeah, you're right. I'm Cheetos. Flaming hot Cheetos. It That's is. just how many come in the bag, y'all. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. it's only two. Oh shit! Yeah, because the Doritos. All, they, don't work out, but they don't give you no I'm Doritos. Dead. Oh god. Um, did they give you two big Doritos? They're the best ones, low key. The, the but I'm not. I'm not the picking them Doritos. though. No, nah, I'm good. I'm, I'm picking the hot Cheetos. Hot Cheetos, any day. Yeah. I'm going hot Cheetos, hot fries, hot Doritos. I'm going the hot other Cheetos. Two suck my... I'm going hot Cheetos, hot Doritos, hot Funyuns, even though they're not up there. The Nah. You don't like the hot boy, what, what? No? Nah. Hold up. You don't fuck with those? I fuck with the Doritos, but I just feel like my breath afterwards is going to be rocking. <laughs> That's all First of all, 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 all you done. Breath breath breath. Breath. It's going to be nasty. You're all not right, going to so, like it. So which one are you choosing? I'm choosing the flaming hot Cheetos though. Mm. Original. I'm going to go with the OGs. OGs. All right, I'm back. Go with the OGs. What's your hypothetical? All right, so... um. It's two, two now. Mm-hmm. You find a a a a hundred thousand dollars. I ain't gonna say me a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. And on the street. Yeah. One. Mm-hmm. Are you returning it to the bank, or mm-hmm. are you are you trying to like return it to the center? You want to mm-hmm. put in the mail, return it to the center. Mm-hmm. If you don't do that, mm-hmm. what are you going to do with the money? I'm not returning. The, I'm not returning shit. First, first of all. all right. So if you're not returning it with the not first five things, first I found God bless me with. God bless. First five things you're going to do with that hundred thousand dollars. Five things. <clears throat> what the first thing I'm gonna do with the hundred thousand? Mine was a hundred thousand dollars. It ain't that much. That's why I said it. Right. So first and foremost, I'm gonna get all my 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 house bills current. That's then, not a hundred. <clears throat> no, nah, like I'm gonna get my house bills current. That's you know, mm-hmm. real small debt. Then I'm gonna put. I'm gonna I'm put I'm gonna put twenty bands in the savings. Mm. That's two. So what you at now? You at like what? That's like so that ain't that's probably like, like that's a, that's a, that's about twenty five. Let's say that's about twenty five. Twenty five. Let's say okay. let's say thirty thousand. Say right, that's, that's thirty thousand. So you got seventy now. So I'm at seventy thousand dollars. Now I'm at <clears throat> seventy thousand mm-hmm. dollars. Um. So right now what I'm learning is I need to invest in something. Mm. Um. I've been learning investments. Um. You know. I, I know that you don't have to put a lot down on stocks to make money on stocks. So, you know, I, you know, I'm put some investment. So stocks uh, might try to put a down payment on a property. So that's um, four. So, you know, nah. Because you said stocks put, and property. So stocks I could put, stocks you could put a little bit. I could put $100 on a so couple stocks. So I mean, stocks. that's... A, yeah, that ain't... That, that, so, that's, I, so now you at so, so that's a, 69. Say, 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 say I have to put 1000 at stocks, right? So that's now I'm at 69, right? Um, then I need to invest in a property. I would want to probably put 20000 down on a, on a good investment, investment on property. And I do mean like property like, I don't know, a uh, commercial business like the plot like a plaza so now you have 40 like you know so so now like so now i'm at 49 i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna probably take about ten thousand and i'm gonna go get some things for myself shop uh, i'm gonna shop because i'm gonna shop it's, okay you know, so i'm at two I, I got two more things to do so wait now you've got five right? no, no 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 you no. said you're gonna pay your house bills current yeah you're gonna uh Pay your house bills current. Put set twenty thousand in savings. Twenty thousand savings. You gonna pay get a, a, a thousand, thousand dollars in stock. stock. Um, invest in a property. Invest in a property. Oh, shop is free. <laughs> shop is free, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, okay. It's a hundred thousand. Yeah, hundred thousand. So what me, you doing? I think only reason I think I would have different expectations because my shit probably go way faster than that. What you gonna do? Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pay off all my debt. So we looking at like what fifty? <laughs> <laughs> we looking at like fifty for the big thing and that right there. All that. Uh, so put up, pay up all my debt, my car, my uh, school loans, and I mean that's a blessing to be at fifty. Honestly, to keep it on it. So um, that's that. Oh yeah. So that's at fifty. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. The second thing I'm gonna do, pay my house bills. Uh, current. 
Um, well, no, it's more than fifty. Damn, because I still got my credit cards, my d- nah, debit. I'll, that's I debt. Oh, like that. I, but I think that's still fifty. That's gonna be like sixty, bro. All right, cool. So, um, pay off all my debt. Pay my um my house bills currently. Like you said, I like that. Um, so that's like let's say what it's five sixty. That's like sixty five. Mm-hmm. Um, shit. So I'm at like what uh so thirty five. Like yeah, thirty five. So thirty five. I'm a, um. I'm gonna start a business. Mm-hmm. Um, what kind of business? Production. I like that. Yeah, yeah. So, cause that's now I'm actually yeah feeding my my business. Um, what I'm doing. So I start a production business. Um. Uh, I'm gonna give my mom's probably like thirty five. That's what I'm gonna give me. 20? I'm at like 15. Production business? How much do you think you got to put into that? Like 10, 15? You could, you could be solid off a good 10. 10? All right. So now I'm at, uh, let's say, um, where I was at? Uh, I was at 35, right? So now I'm at 45. I mean, no, not 45. I'm tripping. 25. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Duh. I'm going to give my mom's like 10. Now I'm at 15. Damn. I'm going to put... I'm going to put... 13 in the bank. Take 2,000. Go shop. <laughs> yeah. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna put the rest in the bank. Nah, nah. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna spend it because I'm gonna put, I'm gonna hold the 15 for a crib. Because mm-hmm. when I pay off all my debt, mm-hmm. that's gonna get my credit good. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna hold the 15. For a down payment for a crib. So none of y'all giving the money back. So that's what I got. That's what I, I, heard. Don't I, don't I ain't know. getting the money. <laughs> no, I don't know. No, no, no. So yeah, so I'm a, what? I'm gonna be broke. It's my money. I'm gonna be broke. Yeah, I'm gonna no, be broke because you know your house gonna build equity. I'm you a, know, <laughs> I'm gonna have the stocks. You know what I'm saying? We going up. We got a nice balance. It's here. one or the other. You are gonna be mad as shit at me. What? I say this though. I'm not gonna tell you the rest of the four, but the first thing I would have to do is get a 10 percent to God. Cause you bless me. There we go. Come on, Taz. Cause you bless me. Come on, Taz. <laughs> Cause I, I, that drop. I like that. No, come on, Taz. Come I like that. I like that. No, so that's true. Ten percent. That's true. Yeah. Well, ten yeah. percent. So that's yeah. ten bands. Yeah. Get that. Yeah. And then the ninety. Oh yeah. According to the well, sermon yeah. that I we heard, got, the rest yeah. of the ninety bless. Yeah. yeah. So but but the, if you give the ten percent, the ninety gonna turn into hundred eighty. Oh yeah. Easy. Mm. It's blessed. That's how that go. The bigger you get, the bigger you get. Okay. Okay. Put your tithes and offering. Pay your tithes and offerings. I like that. I like that. I like that. All right. What, 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 time, what time we Where on? We at? Where we at with it? We had an hour. Oh, mm, okay. Well, I think. I was going to. We can just we run, run past. We could just read them. I see. That's where we at. Okay. So, trending topics. We got, oh, the Honeypot, black owned female company, was flooded with hate speech and a one star review after it was featured in a Target commercial. Well, I like that, though. And can now you, she sold out. Pull up. Um. Sold out. Pull up. Shout out to her. Uh. Let me look at it. Let me look at it. I like this story, right? Because I literally just seen this on Instagram. Yeah, it's so lit. It's such you, a great you know story. What I'm about? Yeah, honey you seen pot? it? No, no, not that one. What? So you you know about that? Yeah, I know what about honey pot. Oh, so basically now it's sold out of shelves in Target. Like, so basically she has a, a feminine products, you know, all natural, all organic. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a fe- uh, <clears throat> it's a black owned feminine care company. The Honey Pot Company was attacked by online trolls earlier this week after its founder appeared in a Target commercial and said she hopes her company does well. So the next black girl that comes up with a great idea could have a better opportunity. She basically got a lot of backlash for that. Mm-hmm. A lot of people took issues with the fact that Honey Pot founder Patrice Dixon specifically mentioned black girls mm. began flooding Honey Pot's portal. Trust Pilot with, neg- with negative reviews. There is no evidence these reviewers actually bought or tried the product. Um, Twitter caught wind of this and immediately began defending Dixon against the online trolls. As a result of all the support, Dixon told Buzz- BuzzFeed News that her company sales shot up 30% afterwards. Damn. In a statement to Business Insider, Target said it was proud to work with Dixon and her company and was aware of the negative comments directed toward the commercial. Shout out to her. Shout out to her. I love these stories. Now, why? If you can look up. But what's wrong? Lip bar. But, but what's wrong with saying. <clears throat> If she's a black woman, mm-hmm. what is wrong with saying, I hope my race identifies with me so that they know that their dreams come true? It's as if 
we are not allowed to acknowledge our generations beat lowest to be able to highlight ourselves. It's like, if you're not saying all, don't say none. Mm. But who said I have to do that? If I, I, if black girls, I, yeah, yeah, I can shout out my people if I want. I don't have to get backlash for shouting out my people. And I think people get so offended when black people encourage each other because they're so used to us hating each other. Like, so what if I want to encourage the next little black girl? I'm, I was a little black girl. Facts. You weren't, a, if you weren't a little black girl and you feel like I'm not talking to you, so what? It's a lot of little white girls that have representatives. Facts. Nah, nah, yo, go, no, go back, go to the first video. Mm-hmm. So, um, matter of fact, S three twenty, we might get play that one. Let's see what it, let's see what it look. Just not the original one. I can go to the original. Go to the first one, right there. That 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 one right there. Shout out Tank. So like basically like this story is dope as fuck. So like what happened was, they was on Shark Tank. She had this uh idea with the lip bar or whatever. That was her idea. They like nah. Why the hell would you make? Why would you want to do this? Now her shit booming. She like half a million dollar per com- half a million dollar company. She uh. She's sold, I think she sold in Walmart. I'm not really sure. Target. She sold in Target. Target showing love. You know what I'm saying? So, like, we love Target. We love Target. Damn. Let's go, Target. So, we We shopping at Target now. We shopping at Target. You hear me? Damn. We shopping at Target. We love Target. All right, no, no. So, we shopping at Target now instead of Walmart? Because we we had a story about how. Uh, You know, Target. No, Target started at Target. Target. Wow, Target is acting like they're Nordstrom's. I will say, like their prices have dramatically increased. You know what I mean? I used to go get my little work clothes from Target. Now it's about forty dollars a pants, and I'm like, Target, the fuck is going on? Why is my pants thirty nine ninety nine? That's why I'm coming to Target, and I'm not going to Nordstrom's. But Facts. here we are. Their quality is substantial. Wow. I mean, that is very true, though. That's very true, what she's saying. Same thing with foundation. Okay. I mean, I understand They ain't that. show that. They ain't show that. They ain't show that. So cute. What's wrong with that? That's cute as hell. He said that's such a bad idea. Why? What? Okay, no. Cockroaches, you are. He didn't say that. We know that your expertise can help us catapult this. You are never going to create anything new in this world. You know, it's lipstick. I'm out. If you're walking past the counter and there's a lot of different brands, even the lips on, on the martini glass are red. Mm-hmm. It's not like you have. Crazy colors. Look, I get that if somebody wears a shocking lipstick that makes them stand out, that's a sign of confidence. Right. You know, mm-hmm. like they're willing to say, I know people are going to be looking at me. I don't care. Right. It's a 
Shit crazy. So we can like what so basically after after you see that I actually want to see what she says. Oh. So she, at, was, nah. was she out at Disney so might know she was Everybody was, she out. was out. So after so just three years after the appearance on Shark Tank, where she was told that her company would fail, the lip bar is worth nearly a half a million dollars and can be sold in 144 Target stores nationwide. Can, can and go. online. Let me just chime in because this 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 Sometimes in life, people are going to try to dim your shine when they can't see the vision. Uh-huh. And I feel like when God gives you purpose, it like I remember matter. there was a sermon I was listening to and the pastor said, there's a reason why you walk into a store and right. you see so many different brands. Right. So just because you're doing something that someone else is doing, don't dim your shine yeah. because the, yeah. the demographic that you may have to reach and the God there. got you to, to touch, uh-huh. they're there waiting for you. Right. And, and it's, oh, go ahead. Uh, it's crazy because uh, the big thing within recent years has been colorful lipstick. That is the stigma. I've seen green and yellow and purple and pink and turquoise and orange and these this is a way that did transpire so for them to actually act like that doesn't exist then you actually don't know the other demographic that's out there and you didn't even care to look because if you know yo first of all the tr- the transsexuals the lgbt community loves color lipstick loves it okay honey mm-hmm. so if you want to shy them away from their colorful lipstick you're doing them a disservice there's tons of women who love colored lipstick and can rock it very well what i will say is there was critiquing that i did think was appropriate yeah, like and that's martini, okay yeah, the martini yeah it did that's make a, sense a, a good, yeah, that was a good um, that was a great critique yeah yeah but to completely back out the idea as if they couldn't sell this and market this first of all i just want to say the bar was great because first of all i know friends that have personally gone to LA and gone to a lip making class lipstick making class and love it and but the martini fun. glass makes sense because it's a lip bar yeah I get it that that right right exactly and I get lipstick it. might not be for your fucking yeah. 10 year old child but just anyway. think about a mobile lip bar walking by and you you can go on for $20 and make your own lipstick and try out your lipstick that's cute as hell mm-hmm. so boo so Shark what I will say, say is we can skip ahead that so she went to a HBCU she went to FAMU and on top of that, she was the only. So I, I emailed like ten companies for sponsorships. E- even if it was a, even if it was a uh, automated message, yeah. that was the only company wow. that responded Shout out to, to me. Them. Like so, like she was like, um, "Thank you for your interest in the lip bar. We appreciate you thinking of us. We would love to learn more about your event." I mean, gl- granted, I didn't say nothing about an event, but yeah. it's a response. Yeah, you know what I'm saying so. Like nobody That's else responded. Customer so even, service. Even if it's an automatic response, it's dope because you got your a res- customer service is a one. You get what I'm saying? Thank you. Shout out to her. She went to um, HBCU. Um, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the lip bar. You know what I'm saying? That's another... And it's Black History... I mean... Wow. wow. <laughs> Women's History Month is actually... Great Women's job, Appreciation ladies. Day. So, yeah. Shout out to them. Shout out to y'all. Um, we were talking about... Meg, um, what we were talking about Nicki Minaj and her, her husband getting locked up. Um, That's sad. Uh, I mean... I mean, I, you know you what's do. crazy? Like, I don't know how I feel about this because, like, me personally, I, I'm... I, I don't know. Like, you know, I love who I love, but I don't feel like... I'm. I, like, you've been... They've been... Okay. How long has Nikki and, and Kenneth Petty been prancing around? A year now? I don't know. I guess. I mean, I a guess. Year two. Like, I, have no I know idea. they dated when they were younger, and it's that whole story. Um, um, to be honest, I don't know if I could deal with somebody who was who did four years on a rape charge. It's mm-hmm. not like it was a speculation. It's not like it was thrown out. It wasn't dismissed. You know, we, we're talking about them bringing up Kobe's mishap that was dismissed. He didn't do a year he of time, but we're talking about somebody who did four years and then had to register as a sex offender for the rest of his life. There's some facts somewhere. And, and you know, and I felt like if it wasn't, then his lawyer would have been doing appeals and this would have been a different situation and rah, rah, rah. So the fact that we're going to have to say that this is accurate facts, that's just what we, the, the details say this is accurate. Me personally, I'm good. Um, I think it's unfortunate for Nikki because her brother was in the same situation. So it does look like, you know, what do you represent right now? Mm. Like, you know what I mean? And as a female with so many fans like Nicki Minaj has that cult following that people die for you know what I mean that is really hard Mm. to think like okay if I was ever sexualized a victim of rape a victim of a victim of assault you're kind of co-signing this you're kind of like 
like you're kind you know, of close on understand them. them understand that it might have not looked like consensual to you but it was consensual to them or like understand that you know it might have looked like they were being rapey to you but they might not it's, it's, it's weird to tell people that and I am a big Nicki Minaj fan this kind of has like made me look at her in a little way because it's like your brother your husband it does get a little it's sticky his, it's like, his low yeah key. like I don't know like you know like what do we like you know like I don't understand and then you condemn Meek for hitting women but you are out here with somebody who's neither one is okay but neither like, one is okay don't judge my don't judge my wrong or my sin because you're yeah sinning but too. right and, you're, and your man has a sin and but what's weird is that he's pleading not guilty now and I just don't know how that works because this was your bid. Your bid was four years and the rest of your life Wait, so did be he take a, a sexual offender. My, my that is, is it. Did he take a plea deal when he got found guilty or did he fight the case? No. Because that matters. Because a lot no, of times, no, well, it does very because much Because a lot matters. of times in the courtroom, like, yo, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, they, they fuck us. Like, and it just, it is what it is. Pause, but like in the yeah, courtroom, it, it they gave you these plea deals. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's like, like you take look, because if they find you guilty anyway, they're gonna give you 15. So I advise you to take four. It did happen, I think, in 1995. So, you know, he probably was a lot younger, not as knowledgeable. And that could have very well been a thing. Um, but, you know, this is a sticky situation. Um, so I, to be honest, I think this goes into one of those things is what are you willing to walk in on with Accepting, your partner? Yeah. Because, you know, it's hard to say that you can like, like say, you know, like, what are you, walk, what are you willing to welcome in your room? Like you have a, I don't know, a, a partner who got off on a murder charge. Are you okay to possibly know that he may be a murderer? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like you, you have a rapist. You, are you okay with like me personally? That's a dark side that I don't know if I'm, willing to allow in my life mm -hmm. uh, you know that shadow you know and um, I don't know if women are okay with you know accepting that or not accepting that or not like you know I definitely think like you know hey what I will say is um side seg quick segue shout out to Alex um Jewel Monique for picking the topics because yeah. we tried to skip through but we, like we can't yeah, it's like, <laughs> like we can't like yeah, it, we gotta like it just gotta be one of them days right yeah. um we're talking Megan Thee Stallion we, we were done with that but it's like it's just like it's just it's, so I'm I feel like that is a long topic I'm talking about the don't uh, have a lot of time on this long topic we gotta get out of here um, but I mean oh Oh, you just ready to quit your job? You ready no, to I'm walk not quitting my job. job. I'm just not. Shout out everybody. I just said shout out to y'all. We try to skip through. We can. She was. She gonna walk I'm out. Not ready to quit. It's also my brother's baby shower today. Uh, he already sent me the text. Like, don't be on color people's time. It what did time start at it? three. It's four o'clock. It's four o'clock. So you know, we're we just being mindful. Hour seventeen. Okay. You know, so but we could run into men. Um, I don't blame Carl Crawford or Megan Thee Stallion. I feel like in those situations, yeah, when you're when you're trying to feed your family. You know what I'm saying? Um, you're willing to take not anything, but it's like you're, you're going to take that upfront money. You know what I'm saying? Um, 1501 was the was the product. What company? What kind of company is it? It was the production company. I thought, I think I said it right. So 1501 was the production company. You good, Alex? 1501 was the production company. Um, so what happens is a lot of artists, people don't know is a lot of artists go through these production companies and these production companies try to get you the big deals. So as a production company, knowing that you can pop, we get deals that's going to benefit us because you possibly might want to leave us to go to a big company anyway. So we, and, and we're fucked. So it's like, yeah, the deal, I wish we had a contract, but it's okay. The deal was kind of far fetched, fetched compared to like your standard deal, but it wasn't that far off. Honestly, just being honest, like mm -hmm. the 60 40, um, the 30%, uh, tour, like you know, what I'm saying the only thing I would say is fucked up is she has to pay for everything out of her 40. They should break that down first and then do 60 40 if you're going to agree to 60 40. But that's a big deal, it like, is. When well, you, know you say only thing, like yeah. that's a big only thing, yeah, yeah, it like, is. It is. It that's is. not a small only thing. And Facts. after you do that, after so many times that you're not seeing your money, this can very much be look like you're dicking me 100%. You're right. What I will say is when you're when you're when you don't have it though, that sounds great. Right, you know what I'm saying? When so, you don't have anything, so, so gotta be how careful. do you protect the artists that are going to blow? Because, like, I think that a lot of people do those deals when you know, you know, uh, artists that like, yeah, it's a potential, but we don't know. But then, what happened when your fucking rookie becomes LeBron? Mm -hmm. 
What, mm-hmm. what do you, you have to have some stipulation for them because it will look unfair. But what I'm will, bringing you in but, a lot of money right now. I'm paying, and, and, and in return, I'm paying for everything on my pocket. I'm not seeing any residual but, compared to you guys, and I'm breaking down three ways. Like, but, it's not hold fair. Up. But not, not wait. Wait, though. We can say it's not fair, but what I will say is how you think they feel when I fronted you everything before you had anything. They got their money back. Yeah. They got their money back. So who cares? I got you your money back. Okay. Plus tons more. What else do you want from me? Stop trying to slide me away like a slave. Fair. So it's like, yeah, you, you did do that. Congrats. You got, you got your I money got back, your money more. back for you. I, I put the work in. You gave me the money. Guess what? You have now got paid off of me. Mm. What else do you want? Yeah. Well, no. and that's why I said I think there's a big of unfairness on both sides, but I also feel like it gets a little greedy when, you know, yeah, y'all fronted me like y'all don't want me to leave y'all, but some things may just be in my better interest going forward. There has to be clauses just like, you know, if anything if you want to da 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 if you see a better future with da 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 you know, we just need 10% of a closing out deal and da da, let's move forward. Like, don't tell me I have to be locked into you with, for life and I got you your money back, then some, and you're just mad now because I see something that works better for my future. I don't have to, I'm not tied not, to, that's like, I'm not tied so, to anybody forever. No, you're right. So Nobody we, forever. No, you're right. We don't have time to, to really dive into that. And I think that's, damn. Shout out to y'all again. This week was lit. And then shout out to the week. Shout out to the week. Shout out to the week. Um, Damn, my hookah done. Uh, yeah, hookah done. Batteries done. Um, bottles done. Bottles done. Hey, yo, make sure y'all support us at um, anchor.fm, A-N-C-H-O-R.fm. We can use the money. We got niggas doing this on the web. Niggas is coming out here, helping us, giving us our time. Donate. Service, donate, man. Please. 99 cents to the minimum. You know what I'm saying? What's that? 999. Not, or even not, cash happens. So, a baller. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with us. Uh, follow us at the Gemini Scorpio Pod. Um, plug yourself, bae. Healer Bay, H E A L E R B A E underscore period. I'm Follow out. me at Mr. J Hill, uh, M R underscore J A Y H I L L. And yo, this is episode 16. I personally think this is one of our better episodes because it was filled with just information. It wasn't a lot of back and forth, and like, yeah. I fuck with it. Yeah. Nah, because that, that's a part of the reflection. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with it. Uh, Motivation I, for the week, you got one? Yeah, um, I fuck with that. Let's keep, if we can. Uh, again, we still can keep the rawness and if we go yeah. through shit, we can bring it up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I, I really like this. Episode. Yeah. Shout out to the team. Um, let's just keep being, let's keep pushing it forward, yo. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to say it forward. on camera. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's hard. They, they don't understand. They, the people never going to understand how hard it is. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep pushing forward. That's my motivation of the week. I'm with you. I like that one. I'm yeah. going to go with that. You Push already forward. know, man. Have a great week. Gemini Scorpio podcast. Love. Yo, we fuck around. Can we drop the audio on today? Because I think we should name this. Um, Woman's, Woman's Day or some shit like that. For the women, for the ladies. For the ladies. If we can drop the audio the today, fuck it. Yo, Gemini Scorpio Podcast, Sade, J Hill, we out. It's a wrap.